What is going on guys? Joey Franzel here with Flex Training Systems. <laughs> it has been a minute. It's been like two weeks uh, since I put out a video. Um, I've had a lot of just like in-person uh, powerlifting things to take care of. Um, you know, Tina had her first meet or that she was actually hosting. Uh, and then I had to head down to uh, Rancho Cucamonga to take care of a couple lifters. And then I just got back from Collegiate Nationals in uh, Texas at Texas A&M. <clears throat> and I've just been trying to catch up, uh, you know, whenever I'm at those meets in person, um, I don't, I lose a lot of time that I could be working because I usually work like all day on the weekends uh, like Wednesdays, Thursdays, I like my days off. Um, if I am going to take a day off, but you never really have a day off cause you got to get back to people. Um, this video is going to be, uh, <clears throat> kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about some stuff that happened at college nationals and I'm going to leave you guys with some keys. Um, just some things to consider, but it's infinity war week. And if you guys have been following, following me, you guys know that I'm like super invested in this movie. Um, uh, on the flight over to, uh, college, uh, college nationals, we watched, uh, uh, what did I watch? Uh, we watched civil war. Uh, when I got back, I watched gardens of galaxy two, um, going there or coming back from there. And then I watched, uh, age of Ultron on the flight there. And then when we got back the next day, I watched uh, civil war. So I'm like up to, you know, up to speed uh, on everything. Uh, even though I've already seen it, I just wanted to like kind of, uh, enjoy those moments and um, before I get into the topic of today's video I just want to say thank you or I'm super proud of all of you uh, you know everyone that competed at college nationals um, you know uh, Rachel Andres uh, Josh and Rob uh, you know we only missed two lifts out of all four of them literally only missed two lifts um, you know that that me had a very I mean, the stage was almost like the Arnold, uh, you're, except you were elevated and the lights were just all on you. So if you had never lifted in that setting before, it could be a little jarring. Um, but yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, white lights, uh, Rachel ended up winning best, uh, female, uh, raw lifter, which is awesome. Uh, I knew Andres coming in, had a close matchup and, uh, uh, you know, came down to the last deadlift and we ended up getting it. So um, and then Josh actually pulled for the win and then his opponent had to pull a big jump and he barely got it And then we ended up getting second on body weight, but it's fine uh, You know that was a second meet so super proud of everyone Rob. He's just coming back from from some stuff. So so proud of you guys um, <laughs> Three minutes in now. Let's talk about you know the topic of the video. So it is infinity war week I wanted to kind of uh, tie in uh, What I wanted to talk about with some you know stuff that pertains to this week uh, and uh, you know if, if you guys do or, or you may or may not know the Infinity War is directed by the Russo brothers um, I was watching a recent interview with them and they were talking about how uh, you know they were asked like hey so how do you guys deal with fan feedback they they throw all these good ideas at you like you know how do you guys integrate that into your movies do you even consider it blah 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 um, and the answer they gave was that the fans have a lot of really really good ideas but if you listen to all of them um, you know, you kind of, it kind of drowns out, uh, whatever, you know, you, your, your instincts really, and, and you can kind of start to second guess yourself and, and you end up with this kind of jumbled, uh, product at the end. Uh, and they said that they've always just kind of stuck with their gut and that's just, you know, always worked well for them. Um, and that resonated with me so much because I, uh, I literally everything that I do is just my gut feeling when I'm calling numbers when I'm making training when I'm you know setting somebody's macros when I'm having them deciding how far out I want them to you know stop their water or their carbs or whatever it's literally I mean obviously it's all the information that I've learned in the past but it's just my gut uh, I, I literally just default to what I feel like like I see a lift or lift and that number pops up in my head it's like it's almost like there's a voice that just says seven and a half kilos, five five kilos. It tells me, you know, what, how much to jump, right? It's crazy. It, it sounds fucking retarded, but it's like it's literally just my gut talking to me. You know, may, not not my subconscious because I guess I wouldn't be aware of it. But, um, 
you know, deep down we know. And, and I think just all I do is, you know, with the amount of people I work with, I'm just practicing on being objective, objective, objective. Um, so I'm always just trying to give an unbiased, like, un, uh, you know, just a, just a decision that is like what I truly feel that isn't um, affected by emotions or anything like that. Um, and uh, the reason why I wanted to bring this up and tie it into powerlifting is um, feedback is really, really good, right? Like I literally need feedback in order to be able to bring a lifter from point A to point B. Um, sometimes we can skip B, go right to C, stuff like that. But, uh, uh, you know, it just depends. Uh, it depends on the situation. But, you know, I have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people on this team. Um, and then a couple, a couple guys, literally like 5%. Uh, the people that I work with, maybe maybe a little bit more, uh, they think a lot, right? They think about this, they think about that. Um, you guys know Sean, you guys have seen him. I mean, he's posted about all of this. He's in flats and he's in heels, he's in flats. I mean, this is kind of like an older topic. Um, but when the going gets tough, sometimes we second guess and we start to change things that don't need to be changed. That's a big thing in powerlifting is you have to, uh, you gotta just stick to it and you can't make any decisions until you like complete your 12 weeks, 10 weeks, whatever. Um, you know, because fatigue is masking what's really happening. You're not really going to see that until you get that to go away. But, uh, when I'm getting feedback from someone, if they throw like 30,000 ideas at me and we go with like, you know, we try to take a little bit of everything. Sometimes the actual plan can get clouded. Uh, what we actually want to accomplish, you know, I mean, I don't let that happen, but it's just like the lifter doesn't know, you know, at the time they're just giving you all these different ideas and you're like, you got to just go, I, as a coach, just have to kind of go with, um, you know, what I feel is the best, like what I feel is going to work best for them. Their feedback is important, um, but we can't like the body needs to adapt to something. It can't have like 30 different things happening at the same time. You can't be trying to be the best sprinter in the world and the best power lifter in the world and the best long distance runner and the best swimmer. You're pulling your body, you know, too many different directions. So you got to just commit to a plan, go with your gut, run that out. And in the end, as it, as it does, you know, 99% of the time, it's going to work, uh, at least on my, on my end. So, uh, you know, it was just great to see those two directors, like literal God directors, like making this film, this, you know, they made civil war. I think they made one more Marvel movie and they made a very famous, um, TV series. Uh, like, and they probably have a crazy resume that I'm unaware of. It's just, you know, you have these two guys that are much older than me. They probably, you know, uh, they're they're wise. I try to learn, try to learn from 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 uh, people older than me and stuff, and um, you know they're just saying something that resonated so much with me because it's literally like <laughs> I just go through, you know, everything that I do is just my gut. It just I just follow my gut, uh, and and that's uh, yeah. Actually, uh, Rachel, you guys know Rachel. I mean, I've been putting her all over my IG lately because her story re it, it, it's so great because she came to me kind of kind of her you know shoulder was banged up, her back was not good. She did uh, the Arnold, and it was like, it was like iffy. And then after the Arnold, I was like, all right, I have a plan. I want to execute this plan, but you have to be up for it because it's not going to be easy. She said, put it on me. We ran the plan, and she put like 15 kilos on her total in uh, like six weeks, um, and uh, 20 points to her Wilkes, and like exceeded. You know, it worked perfectly. It worked perfectly. Like my like. I didn't I didn't have to think about that I just I just like after the meet I was like oh I might get a me to do this do you think you can handle it uh, and, and and it it's amazing to see something like you have this idea this is one of the most rewarding things about powerlifting is like you have this idea you have this like you know the lifter has a goal the lifter has goals right and I have and, and they tell me their goal and then I kind of like in my mind I just start mapping it out right like how is it how are we gonna get to this spot right well it starts you know one block at a time, one day at a time. Uh, we start working on the things that are gonna put us in that position. And uh, you know, thankfully she had competed at the Arnold. That gives me information I need. Once somebody competes, once I learn, I, I, I learn what I need to learn. Um, which, I mean, you learn, it's not like a one and done thing. It's like, you, it continues over time. But um, I don't know, just seeing her, that plan like kind of like manifest on the day. Um, I think with her, it's so significant. I mean, I've done this like many times. It's just like with her, she was hurt and it was a big variable. I think for both of us, I wasn't sure like, damn, can her back handle it? Can her shoulder handle it? 
Um, I know. I and it was great. It was just great to see that. It was extremely rewarding when you you have a plan and you execute the plan. You go with your gut and you get rewarded. I can only imagine. You know, the Russo brothers. They they get when Civil War is just an idea. The movie, you know, is just an idea. It's just a piece of paper, bunch of papers, right? And then they put everything together and then they end up with this final product and it's amazing and everybody loves it and it makes a billion dollars and it's like, you know, obviously I'm not making billion dollar movies, but I'm hopefully uh, uh, giving people a feeling on me day, um, you know, that they can't put a price on. So, um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about that. If I had to sum it up, you know, feedback is good. Feedback is very important, but you, you want to work on one thing at a time and you don't really want to think think about like too many different things otherwise nothing gets done right it goes back to shout out to bd minor he's the first one that told me this expression uh it's uh paralysis via over analysis so you just um you know you, you're over analyzing so many things that you're not going anywhere um and i think it's important to be analytical i think that's why i'm you know i mean shit your boy's doing good you know i feel like i'm, I'm seeing so much success uh, coaching is just uh, you know, I am able to analyze. I'm just like that. I just look at everything, uh, stupid little things that people might th not think are important. I think are important at the same time. I know what things to cut out. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys are able to take something away from this video. I am super excited for Infinity War. We're like 54 hours out, 53 hours out, something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, so a little, little bit different of a video here. Thanks for bearing with me. If you made it this far, <laughs> don't forget, if you're going to buy PR Breaker, use code FLEX10. You're going to save 10% and it helps me out. Um, also, you're a real one, man. Let me get a real one in the comments. Let me get a real one or Infinity War or a Thanos or a hashtag, whatever you guys want in the comments below. Um, but seriously, if you made it this far, it means so much to me. Let me know you made it this far down below. And um shit we got worlds coming up we got a lot of you know exciting things coming up this the rest of this year and and i'm just happy to, happy to be a part of it happy to be you know on this journey and um you know thank you guys for giving me your time and i will talk to you guys in the next one peace